How's it going, everyone? My name is Well, you don't care my name is, and today I'm going to be reviewing my first movie of the new year, and the first horror movie of the new year, Megan. When the trailer for this movie first came out, I thought, much like everyone else, it looked kind of dumb. I didn't think it looked that scary, it looked kind of goofy, and since it was coming out in January, which is the month where bad movies go to die, I thought it was going to be pretty boring. Now yes, there are rare times when January does produce a good movie, but I didn't think this was one of them. To my surprise though, the movie not only ended up being fun, but I thought they did a good job making Megan a good horror villain. Directed by Gerard Johnstone and written by Akili Cooper and James Wan, the movie's plot focuses on Allison Williams' character, Gemma, who is a robotic engineer who's been tasked to look over her niece, Katie, played by Violet McGraw, after the death of her parent. However, Gemma is unable to care for her niece properly and even connect with her. So she uses the prototype she's been working on, Megan, to help become Katie's friend. It works, and Katie ends up bonding with Megan, two becoming close friends and Megan making sure Katie is kept safe, both emotionally and physically. However, something goes wrong, and as always happens in these sort of horror movies, and Megan becomes self-aware, hostile, and overprotective of Katie, leading to her to kill and harm those who get in her way of protecting Katie, even Gemma herself who sees her as a threat and now has to figure out a way to stop Megan before she ends up getting killed and she kills any more innocent lives. To be honest with you, the plot for this film is predictable and in not really anything new, but it's still done in a way that keeps you interested in what's going on in the movie. The first act starts off pretty slowly, but once we get to the second act, that's when things start to get serious. While the third act builds up the terror and threat of Megan, and the final act is satisfying while hinting of a sequel, which I wouldn't be against at all. The only flaw I can think of for this movie is, again, you already know how it's going to go, you know the lesson our main character is going to learn, and yes, relying on some cheap jump scares, which you can see coming. Despite that though, I thought the plot did well enough to the point that it was still a fun story, and the actors all did a great job with their role as well. The one who I felt was the one that stood out the most was Megan herself. I really enjoyed Jenna Davis who was voicing the robot girl while also enjoying uh, Amy Donald as the robot girl to move around. She can be sweet, kind, and innocent, but can flip on a dime when Katie is in danger or if anyone tries to get in her way of her objective. It also feels good to have a new horror movie character be brought in that doesn't does feel different from others before her and feels a little unique as well. The only flaw I can have when it comes to the characters is, well, there are those you already know they're gonna die, so we don't really get that attached to, and we don't even get to know who they are, so when they're killed off, they're kind of forgotten. I do love the chemistry between Megan and Katie as well, but yeah, other than that, everyone else is kind of forgettable. Despite that though, I did like the special effects used for the movie, particularly the one in the forest where they showed how Megan chases down her enemy. I also don't mind Megan looking how she looked, and it felt a lot better than what we've seen in other horror movies, particularly the remake of Child's Play and how Chucky looked. As for the kills, I thought they weren't bad, and I did like some of the scares they had here, not all of them since there was a lot of jump scares, but it was still not bad. It is a shame the movie was rated PG-13, so they couldn't make the deaths look that brutal and felt tame, but I didn't mind it because I still enjoyed how the movie went and did enjoy seeing Megan and <laughs> yes, even that dance which is starting to win people over, so expect more of that in the future. As far as I'm concerned, Megan is a fun movie. It's not scary, it's not a great horror movie, but it's still a good film and it's better than what we expected it to be. If they do end up making a sequel, I will be very much interested in seeing it, and hopefully they do with the same actress playing her. Or maybe just don't make her completely CGI, just, you know, for the future. Now, if you want to see this film with your friends or your loved one, go right ahead. Chances are, you might end up enjoying this film and seeing Megan doing her thing, which is kill, dance, and being kind and innocent. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this film, Leave some comments below, let me know what you think. Here's the comment button, check out my Facebook page, check out my Twitter page, check out T3 Media's channel, subscribe to their channel, because they do other videos. And I'll see you all next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Until then, take care, be safe, love you all, and goodbye.